uh, that did not get a plan. Looks like great flows. Uh, and yeah, here we go. in the river. It's too sketchy to get even though it got hung up and so I decided the better thing to do was hike out. I had to try three or four ways out to, to get through the cliff band. Finally figured that out. Had my paddle with me, lost that too. So I don't know if I'll ever see that boat again. Not sure how we'll recover that, but I guess. Garrett, what are we doing this weekend? Uh, we're going to buy my boat in the Kirkish. Uh, it's there, uh, but we just have to get to it, which is going to be the hard part. <laughs> okay, I'm done. And now we can see some of the blow down all around us. Rather hefty. So we've hiked in about, I don't know what, half an hour uh, through some pretty thick salal uh, up over trees, lots of deadfall. We are right next to a landslide now. Check it out. There's a landslide that Garrett had to hike up last time. His flip line is down there. And his paddle is down there. We're gonna get them. So gnarly, <laughs> so gnarly. After a bushwhack and a rappel down a 30 meter cliff, some boulder hopping and bushwhacking and sliding, uh, we have now arrived at the river portion of our rescue mission. There is Garrett and his boat on the other side of the river. Well, that was the easy part. Getting ready for the crux move. We've got the boat up this far, and now we have to use ropes to ascend the cliff. Uh, we're gonna climb up and pull the boat up, I guess. <laughs> ah, lots of trees in the way. Got the boat up the cliff. <laughs> Still gotta hike out. How you doing, Garrett? 
<laughs> that was so barely. I'm so tired. <laughs> Don't drop your boat in the river. <laughs>